my new video today we learn about the probability so what is the basic concept and what is probability probability is just happening some event we have to find that uh, data is called probability means many event can be predicted but the best we can say how likely they are happen using the idea of probability so idea of probability means how many times it happening we can find with the probability for example if we have a coin so tossing a coin so coin only have two faces one is head another is tail so what is the probability to come if we are tossing coin so probability to come head is 1 by 2 for 10 also 1 by 2 similarly if we are taking a dice there are 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 faces so what is the probability if we are throw a die one time and we will get 2 so probability for 2 is 2 is there only one number total outcome is 6 so probability to get 2 is 1 by 6 probability to get 5 is also 1 by 6 from here we can give our probability formula what is our probability formula so probability is given by favorable outcomes or we can say number of way it can happen ways it can happen divide by total outcome means what is the total number of ways it can be happen so that is called probability so for example if we have six marble in a bag we have six marbles with different colors two are blue Three are red, sorry, three are green, and one is red. Now, if somebody pick out one time only one single marble, so what is the probability to pick green marble? So for green marble there are three. So number of ways it can happen for green is three, but divide by total ways, total outcome is six. so it's 3 by 6 means probability for getting green is 1 by 2 probability for getting red for red number of ways it happen is 2 total is 6 so 2 by 6 it gives by 1 by 3 so this is how simple data or we can find the simple probability there are some now little bit more further we learn about that probability if we, for probability we need to first construct the sample space we call the set one set which is called as omega is sample space so what is this sample space we can understand by one example if we have one coin or maybe two coin tossing at a time so two coins tossing so what is the probability to come both head both tail one head one tail so first we need to find the total outcomes so what is the total outcome so sample space for tossing two coins is both heads one head one tail one tail one head or both tail so sample space for this is given by this set this set is called sample space for this causing two try two coins next the term is so sample space is all possible outcome of an experiment or we can say total outcomes of that experiment next is the sample point sample point is only one outcome point is just one possible outcome not all so for coming head head 
is sample point is our head head so there are many sample points in one sample space means in one problem we can find many sample points another is the event what is called event event is one or more possible outcomes so one or more possible outcomes like first event is coming head and second event is coming head and tail third event is coming only tail tail so head and tail so for this probability is 1 by 4 for this probability is 2 by 4 for coming tail tail is 1 by 4 see our what is probability number of ways it happened by total outcome so for head head number of ways is 1 only total outcomes are 4 so probability is 1 by 4 similarly for tail also 1 by 4. but i had tail or tail head there are two possible possibility so the probability for this is 2 by 4 we can given by 2 by 4 is simplify way 1 by 2 so this is called the how to find the probability another fact about the probability that the sum of all probability or probability is always lies between 0 to 1 either it's 0 or maximum is 1 if something is not happening uncertainty is 0 happening completely is 1 and all probability lies between 0 and 1 for example this is all probability of this sample space so if we add this always the sum of all probability gives by we can write 2 by 4 so gives 1 only 4 by 4 is 1 so another fact sum of all probability for that sample space is always given by 1 so this we can clear with this example proceed to some another example problem is tom want to see how many times a same number comes when throwing two dice if tom have two dice he have to throw and what is the possible outcome to come two same numbers so there are each time when we simul tossing two times our event is event is tom looking for same number so what is the same number event is 1 1 2 2 3 3 this is our event space next total possible sample space total possible outcomes for two number is 1 6 1 5 1 4 1 6 1 6 1 5 Similarly, two one two 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 three two four six five six six. So total is thirty six way. See, for with one there are six numbers, so six combinations. So from all six, it's six times six. Total event are thirty six. So total sample point are thirty six. Our event is we need this only so there are six now what is the probability probability is even outcome is 6 divide by total is 36 so answer of probability is 1 by 6 clear now if tom experiment is like this first he get 3 4 second he get 3 1 third he get 2 2 four times he get 6 3 so when first time tossing both kind he didn't get same second time tossing he didn't get third time yes he get the same number four time no so if he did this 100 times and he get 19 times same number 
Now we check with our result. What is the probability to get same number is 1 by 6. He repeat this experiment is 100 times. So 1 by 6 times 100. When we divide 100 by 6, we will get 16.67. So with probability, we know at least not the exact answer, at least nearby happening event. So we will get, we have idea that at least 17 or 17 times we will get the uh, Two dice have the same number, but the actual result he will get in 100 out of 100, 19 times. So, which is very near to our probability answer. So, probability gives the, uh, not the accurate value, but the approximate value where the result will go. Proceed to another example. How to calculate the total number of outcomes? If we have three shards and four pens, so how many outputs, how many total number of combinations are there? So total combination is three times four is 12 different outfits. Means each shirt, if we have for example, red, blue, gray. So each shirt with four pens. So there are four, four and four. So total outfits are 12. So this is called if M Sure, n possibility, another is n. So, total outcome is n, m times n. Different outfits are m times. You should remember always. Next is the relative frequency. What is called the relative frequency? If your team win 9 game, if we play, so team win 9 games out of total of 12 games. So, what is the relative frequency? Relative frequency is called 9 by 12. It's 3 by 4 means 75% we will win the game. We lose 1 by 4. So, that is called the relative frequency. Another how to find the relative frequency? Example, in a survey, if there are 100 people, survey for traveling, how they go for work. So, 32 tell that 32 go by car, 43 go by public transport, 8 go by walk and 22 go by cycle. So, what is the relative frequency go by car? So, relative frequency is 32 divide by total number of people. So, it's 32 by 100. For public transport, it's 43 by 100. So, this is called relative frequency of the given number of data. Next, if we have tossing two dice, we have two dice tossing at same time, what is the probability to get the sum of 7? Means when two dice, we will get sum of 7. So, for getting 7, how many ways are there? If first is 1, 6, second is 6, 1, another way is 2, 5, 5, 2, 3, 4, then 4, 3. No other combination will be there to get the sum of 7 from 2 dice because dice have 1, 2, 6 number. So there are how many ways? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 6 ways. And total outcome, our sample space is 36. We already see in the previous example 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. So there are 36 ways. So probability to get sum of 7 is 6 by 36. We can say it's 1 by 6. Now I tell you that the sum of all probability is always should be 1. So we can see what is if we can say getting probability to get sum of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and maximum sum is 12. For 2 both only one way because 1, 1. For 12 also, if both dice get 6, 6, then only. For 11, 6, 5, 5, 6. Two ways. For 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, no other. So, it's one way, two way, two way, one way. Then for 4, you can find 1, 3, 3, 1. 
टू टू ओनली थ्री वेज सो फॉर फाइव वी हैव फोर वेज फॉर सिक्स फाइव वेज फॉर सेवन सिक्स वेज एट इज फाइव वेज नाइन इज फोर वेज एंड टेन इज थ्री वेज सो दिस इज द you can find all the combination for the sample space how what is the happening for this next our task to find the probability and find the sum of all so sum for two probability is 1 by 36 for three is 2 by 36 for four is 3 by 36 4 by 36 5 by 36 6 by 36 5 6 7 for 8 is 5 by 36 9 is 4 by 36 10 is 3 by 36 11 is 2 by 36 and 12 is 1 by 36 now if you add all this thing you will get 36 by 36 so probability for all happening event is always sum of all probability is always 1 One plus two, three, three, six, four, ten, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-six, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-five, thirty-six. So it's thirty-six by thirty-six gives one. So that is another fact that probability always lies between zero to one, and sum of all probability gives one. One more example to example, simple, simple. If we have a number of days for week, probability. To select the Wednesday is Wednesday in week is one total number of days is seven so probability is one by seven. Another, if probability to select a day is start with S so S is start with S are there are two days Sunday and Saturday so probability for that is two by seven. Another question in number chosen from one to twenty five probability to choose the even number so from one to twenty five there are twelve even numbers so it's total twelve happening by total twelve by twenty five another probability to choose prime number so first you need to find how many prime numbers prime numbers between one to twenty five is two three five seven nine eleven thirteen seventeen nineteen and twenty three. so there are nine numbers probability to, to choose the prime number is 9 by total number is 25 another example if there are 25 student in a class for monitor probability to choose boy what is the probability if they given there are 15 boys and there are girls so what is probability to choose boy is 15 by 25 probability to girls is 10 by 25 Total probability fifteen plus ten twenty five by twenty five is one. So always sum of probability is one for happening and not. For example, causing a time head is one by two, tail is one by two. Total probability head or tail is one only. So this is all about basic knowledge regarding the probability. In my next lecture, we will learn about the permutation combination and how to solve.